you know what time it is? No. It's four, three minutes past two. It's uh, time to uh, dance, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Dragon and Bear Show, where we are completely serious and we are not comedians, so don't laugh at us. Uh, where we are reviewing our, well, my choice of the an- uh, anime, no, cartoon. Yes, Gravity Which Falls, the anime. <laughs> Gravity Falls, where we are on episode 7, Double Dipper. We're almost at double digits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well done, you can, you can count. Well done. They should have put this one as a fucking episode 10, because it's double digits. Double. Yeah. Missed opportunity. They don't think, they don't think like that, okay? No one thinks like us. No one thinks like idiots. No one thinks yeah. like... The uh, paper jammed uh, dipper. <laughs> best, best character in the show so far. Yeah. Paper jam dipper. <laughs> I oh. thought it was a great episode. Very funny. Great comedic effects. And. I'd say it's better than the last one. Definitely better than the yeah, last one. Yeah, absolutely. So it wasn't. It's not really like two different areas of. Of where they are, it's all in the same like mods in the mystery shack. So it's obviously this one's more focused. Obviously, instead of like, well, the supernatural element's more of obviously technology side this time. Yeah, because obviously it's the photocopier that basically photocopies and makes real <laughs> what it photocopies. Yeah, i.e., a hand, or in a this person. case, dipper, a dipper, a dipper, who basically. Clones himself into an army to try and get with Wendy. Yeah. Uh, and then um, typical shenanigans happen yeah. and typical clones. Is clone. all, this, all this is going down was a party plot going yeah. on. Where Mabel is fight, uh, dancing off against Pacifica Northwest. In her first episode de- debut. The <laughs> same as Candy and Grenda. Yeah, obviously the, the, the <laughs> female kid. Uh, side of the show is getting uh, yeah. obviously uh, first appearance because we've had like, the teenagers so now we're getting yeah. the actual kids that are going to play a part in the obviously Mabel side of like, the stories mm, sorry so, uh, let, let me talk in my native tongue <laughs> <laughs> no it's absolutely great Tom what are you doing um, you know you can't drink you're disintegrate uh oh Ow! Fuck it, my foot on the way down. <laughs> fuck my ankle. <laughs> I tried to slide off the chair. It's obviously because there's no way to go apart from a little gap. So I wanted to slide down to the gap. But as I slid, my foot swung back and my fucking ankle clipped the fucking metal of the chair. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh. oh, that was shit. That was a sharp pain. Oh, funny bone. <laughs> That's also a throwback to the episode. <laughs> yep. I'm, I basically unintentionally threw back to the episode. You actually paid attention for once. Actually, that, I, it was an actual... Yeah, yeah, I did it on purpose. 100% on purpose. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that she did not like the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's definitely... A, it's a different episode, because if you think about it so far, they definitely have gone more supernatural for a lot of the stuff. So we've had like the gnomes... Yeah. Uh, that can turn like can become a giant no monster. We've had uh, the lake monster. Mm, we've had which was technology, yeah. But also not at the same time. We've had the obviously the wax statues. Mm, that's we've supernatural. Had, we've had, we had little, little Gideon. Little Gideon with the supernatural element as well. Yeah, and we've his other book. We've had the ghosts. Yeah, and then we've had obviously the minotaurs. So there's a lot of like mm. monsters and sort of spooky supernatural elements. So obviously it's a bit different. They're going with the clones. <laughs> uh, mm. So that's a di- it's a different style of episodes because obviously, yeah. Again, this one obviously there's a lot of is it obviously there's a slight plot, the subplot which is the party, which obviously is what causes the clone situation. Is an interesting idea. Obviously, it's a bit different to what we've had so far because a lot of ones we've had so far is literally like. Uh, you know, the, the people hanging out in different places. So it's, yeah. we, it's now bringing more people to the mystery shack. 
because we haven't really had a Mr. Shack story in a while. No, it's it's interesting to actually have this as like a somewhat of a a mystery kind of hack. So was, was, the, was the last like, plot like, fully involved in the Mystery Shack? Wasn't it episode three or four? Yeah, episode three, where it was the um, yeah. the wax statues. statues. Yeah, because everything else has really been focused on elsewhere, hasn't it? Yeah. Apart from like maybe like a couple of scenes, but this is the first one that's actually fully focused back on the Mystery Shack. Mm. Since obviously that's where the part, that's where Stan's throwing the party for the kids. Free? Question mark. I, lo- I yeah. do love that little that that little notion. It's just for the qu- it's like it's, it's, it, mate. It's, it's it's literally your it's you got a, you got a ch- chance here that you could go in there and you could be going to a free party. You could also be but, going there and paying for the party. You don't know. It's, um, it's, a, it's a gamble. I mean, it's free to go there, but y- y- to get out, you've got to pay fifteen dollars. No, you have to pay to get in as well. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. That's that. what was, was, you, I don't know. He didn't. Did he say how much he's charging to get in? I uh, no. I don't think he. I don't think he did, but um, Basically, it was fifteen dollars to, to get, get back out. Then. Help <laughs> us! We're trapped. It's the second time that they've been trapped in something in that's the last good, like three episodes. Oh, that, that was pretty funny. Though. It's just like it was like I'm trying to fifteen bucks for him to get back out. We've only got eleven dollars. Help us! <laughs> that was quite funny. But then obviously it's the pan out then to show them pair outside. Mm. So obviously the whole their whole plot is. Then basically sitting outside the ticket stand until Wendy goes inside. Dipper wants to then go inside with her, but yeah. can't. Wendy, Wendy dipped on Dipper. He's not, he, he promised to stay outside, so that's why he starts to clone himself. Yeah. And then, like, his clones don't use the ticket booth, so I don't know, the whole ticket booth plot kind of disappeared quite quickly. Um, but yeah, obviously, I think, it, I think it's just to show that basically one of them was there ish. Yeah, I'm get, mm, either that or basically people stop coming in. Yeah, it's one of them. But yeah, obviously, they, their their whole plot then is them trying to help Dipper get off with Wendy. Like, I mean, they're trying to get rid of, uh, oh, what's his fucking name? Robbie. Robbie, that's it. They're trying to get rid of Robbie, but he's still in his bike. And then of course, there's also the hint very early on of we're not going to turn on each other in like a jealous fit of rage, are we? No. And of course, Dipper. what happens? Yeah, but yes, it was a massive clone fight of them fighting each other until Dipper realizes, wait a minute, water, because obviously they give the hint very right early on with water, mm. with obviously the the hand when they first get the clone machine. Obviously yeah. they throw a drink over it, and it disintegrates. The hint there at the weakness is already ple- present, and you know he uses that against them, and then he kind of befriends Dipper the material again, and so mm. Tyrone. But yeah, I think it thinks a good episode. I say it's better than the last one. I think, obviously, there's a few more funny moments in it. I still don't think it's as good as some of the other ones I've seen. I think it's good. It's a good introduction to a lot of the characters we're going to go with yeah. throughout this now. Because, obviously, so far, they've been slowly dropping these extra characters in each episode that are going to be like a big part of the story going forward. Obviously, Pacifica, the two friends, they've dropped them into mm. this plot, this uh, world now. And we're getting more of Wendy as well. Yeah. We've got a bit more backstory on Wendy. Obviously, we actually got some more with of Z- Zeus again. Obviously, because he's the DJ. Which, I mean, yeah. the, the whole end credits him just, just clicking each of the fucking keys to get the different notes was quite funny. Yeah. But when there's, it's like a random one, which definitely works, I think, because there's not really anything I can really think of for an end credit scene for this. That one definitely works of being the, 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 the different fucking yeah. sounds. That I one mean, definitely works. They could have done with the, uh, the two dippers that weren't there. Like, there's the, the somewhere out, elsewhere. Yeah. Good works. But yeah, there's, def- there's definitely some really funny moments. Obviously, Paper Gem Dipper mm. is probably the best moment, really. Oh, definitely. Because like it's just hilarious. Obviously, it's like, oh, Paper Gem. Because it's technology. That's something that can happen. It can botch. And it shows that it can botch by giving us a really deformed Paper Jam Dipper who mm. can't speak anything except mutter screams. screams of basically... I don't know what to call it. It's just screams of words. Screams of terror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, do, I do like that with the Dipper. Obviously, like, when they're all trying to get him with Wendy, obviously, they're all doing little bits and bobs here and there. And mm. they've all got the little jobs. They've got one with the Zeus with the fucking laser pen. And it's like, he's been distracting Zeus for 15 minutes. He's going he's gonna to figure it out soon enough. Never! 
I was thinking Gunga Stan with the fucking the, the, the dollar note. Yeah. I don't know how much you. I'm, I'm guessing even with Gunga Stan. I'm guessing even with Gunga Stan, if it's just a dollar, he'd be like, "Ooh." I did love the idea of the fact that he's just like, "Nope, not interested. No, not interested." That's not gonna come here. <laughs> That would have been a funny end credit scene, just showing what happened to him, just showing him chasing after it. Mm. Come here, come back here, come back here. But yeah, obviously, uh, and so they've all got different things, the lights, the music, like getting everything ready until, you know, he's kind of actually doing the right thing of talking to her because yeah. he reveals his nickname's origin being the, the dipper, the big yeah. dipper on his head. So that was a good little, obviously, final reveal of why he's called Dipper. But yeah, it, it, it's a fun episode. The the side plot of the party is quite interesting. Mm. So we get the character introductions. And then obviously the clone plot is interesting because it's them basically trying to all just get off with Wendy at one point. So mm. it's, it's two interesting plots that do work. As I said, when we said the last one, the two plots didn't work together because one was outshining the other. Whereas this yeah. one, I feel like they kind of do work. I don't, as I, said, I don't think it's they still make the best of plots, but they well, work well to actually flow into each other yeah. perfectly. So that Absolutely. is, and it also obviously shows some character traits. So Pacifica being basically a, a snob, and that she can, she'll flow, use the money to basically get what she wants. Yeah, i.e. pay the homeless. Fucking bearded guy from the <laughs> Legend of the Gobblewalker episode who's just for some reason lying in this place. The hill, Billy. For some reason, managed to get into this party and just lying there. I mean, he can't. He can't pay to get out. True. I don't think he could pay to get in. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think yeah. she paid him like a dollar. Yeah, probably. Any anything really. But yeah, it's it's um, it's, it's it's an all right episode. It's definitely an improvement. Hmm. Uh, and if I was to rate it, um, I, I don't think I'm still going to go beyond the nine for this. I think I'll stay in the eight region for me personally. Ooh. I mean, I, 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 I've allowed myself the leeway now because going as low as eight point two, I've got the leeway a bit more. But so you I, think I, this is worse than the Gumball Walker one? I, I like that one. I like the sea monster aspect, and I like the fact that it just turns out to be the old man Kook in a fucking. Uh, uh, okay. I I like that angle. That and I like Old the man, good bucket. I like the Grunkle Stan angle in that one of uh, him basically just trying to get, give his friend everyone the the, the mm. lake for the lake place are chasing him down. Um, I say eight point eight. It's not too far behind the God Walker, uh, mm. but, but I do like the fact that it actually flows fine. There's no issue of outshining. <sighs> Interesting, interesting. I'm going to give it an 8.4. 8.4? Yeah. It's not the best, not the worst. It's way better than the Gobble Walker one, though, in my opinion. Opinions are everything. So, you know. That is true. That is very true. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it an 8.4. Okay. Uh, two episodes away from my favourite episode. The piggy one? Yeah. The time traveller's pig. But that's not what we're watching next. We are watching... Treasure one, irra- Irrational treasure... Uh, irrational treasure. Uh, this, is uh, why it's a, this is why it's a mistake for me to be reading them, because <laughs> well, I can't it's, read. It's, 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 you, well, why don't we for clone you? Oh, then anyway, we've got a good chance of getting Paper Jam Alex. If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.